my brand new album comes out April 19th. It's called... Taylor Swift announced her brand new album. Jay-Z makes the audience gasp with his defense of Beyonce. And Celine Dion surprises everyone to present an award amid her battle with stiff person syndrome. Here are all the jaw-dropping moments from the 2024 Grammy Awards. Queen Bee and Blue Ivy were on hand to support Jay, who was honored with the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. During his speech, Hova, standing next to daughter Blue Ivy, thanked the Academy, but also called out one fact about his wife. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Some of you don't belong in the category. <laughs> oh, no, 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 was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. More shade came from host Trevor Noah, who gave Taylor Swift a shout out in his monologue and then gave some side eye to those who are mad at the NFL for showing her during Kansas City Chiefs games. Tonight on Taylor's behalf, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give her a break. Every time someone says Taylor Swift, I'm going to cut the cameras to someone who played football. That's what I'll do. Cut. Bam. Just like that. Oh, yeah. You like that, Terry Crews? You like that, Terry Crews? You better fix your face, Terry. Yeah, we're watching you all night, Terry. No relaxing for you. Taylor brought a noteworthy accessory for the night, a giant fan, so her private convos would stay under wraps no matter where the camera is. And she shocked everyone while accepting the award for pop vocal album when she announced her 11th studio album would be dropping soon. My brand new album comes out April 19th. It's called, <laughs> it's called The Tortured Poets Department. I'm gonna go and post the cover right now backstage. Thank you, I love you, thank you. Miley Cyrus won her first Grammy ever for best pop solo performance with her mega hit, Flowers. She later performed the song for the first time on television and wondered why the audience wasn't giving 110%. Why are you acting like you don't know this song? SZA hit the stage with a sword fighting and levitating performance of Snooze and Kill Bill. And when she won the award for best R&B song, she was totally MIA for a minute, but she eventually appeared and told everyone where she'd been. I'm out of breath because I was changing, and then I took a shot and I ran here. Olivia Rodrigo performed her song Vampire with a bleeding backdrop, and Taylor cheered on the singer, proving there's no bad blood between them. Victoria Monet took home the award for Best New Artist, Miley snagged her second Grammy ever for Record of the Year with Flowers, and Celine Dion made a surprise appearance to present the final award of the night for Album of the Year. The artist has been open about her battle with stiff person syndrome. When I say that um, I'm happy to be here, I really mean it from my heart. And Taylor Swift made history when she won her fourth Album of the Year trophy for Midnight's. All I want to do is keep doing this, so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do what I love so much. Mind blown. Thank you so much.